welcome to the Panama City plant of Craton. We're glad that you've been selected to work at our site. It is our hope that this brief video will provide you with the awareness and information you need to ensure that you conduct your business in the safest and most productive manner. In 1930, International Paper and American Cyanamid founded Arizona Chemical to mine salt cake in Camp Verde, Arizona. In 1936, when the mine closed, Arizona Chemical relocated in Panama City, Florida and Spring Hill, Louisiana. In 2016, Craton Polymers purchased Arizona Chemical and in 2017 changed the company name to Craton Chemical. Craton is the world's leading biorefiner of pine chemicals. We provide natural pine-based materials to our customers in many diverse markets, including adhesives, inks, coatings, road marking, tires and rubber, personal care, lubricants, fuel additives, mining, and oil field. Since the beginning, we've been committed to making the world healthier, cleaner, safer, and more efficient. We refine and upgrade crude tall oil, CTO, and crude sulfate turpentine, CST, both of which are co-products of the wood pulping process to produce paper. CTO and CST are biodegradable and sustainable raw materials that originate from the pine tree. Thanks to our state-of-the-art manufacturing practices, we are able to generate the highest value from crude tall oil, CTO, a co-product of the paper making process while optimizing energy efficiency and minimizing emissions and waste. All 10 manufacturing locations are accredited to high environmental standards. Craton is the largest producer of pine chemicals in the world. Our 10 production facilities in the U.S. and Europe are equipped with state-of-the-art controls and staffed by highly skilled and experienced personnel, which enable us to generate the highest value from crude tall oil while providing our customers with world-class products and service. This video will cover general plant safety rules, potential workplace hazards, emergencies, and evacuation procedures. Thank you for your attention and welcome to our site. At Craton Panama City Plant, contractors and visitors are expected to adhere to the same safety policies and procedures as Craton employees. Failure to comply with these procedures will not be tolerated and could lead to dismissal. Normal contractor and visitor access hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Access at all other times must be pre-arranged and approved by a Craton contract coordinator. Visitor parking areas. Visitors should park in the parking places marked in the main office building parking lot. These can be found just south of the main office building fence as shown here. Speed limit and pedestrian signs. The planned speed limit is five miles per hour and all other traffic signs must be obeyed. Vehicle congestion due to the number of contractor vehicles, powered industrial trucks, tractor trailers and golf carts poses a potential vehicle pedestrian hazard in our plant. Drivers must be aware of pedestrians at all times. Pedestrians have the right of way. Guidelines for cell phones, drugs, and firearms. Cell phones are prohibited in some areas of the plant. Cell phones are prohibited in the terpene and resin process areas of the plant, except in the control rooms and roadways. You may use your own two-way radio if they are intrinsically safe and authorized by the HSES department. Do not use cameras, cell phone cameras, or any other recording devices without the permission from the plant manager. The use of, possession, sale, transfer, and purchase of alcohol, illegal drugs, controlled substance, firearms, and other weapons is prohibited in this facility. Having any of these items on company property will result in the visitor or contractor employee and or the contractor being banned from the facility. PPE. Standard personal protective equipment, also called PPE, including a non-metallic ANSI approved hard hat, safety glasses with approved side protection are required in all production and maintenance areas. All PPE worn must be in good condition. Dark tinted glasses shall not be worn inside. All contractors and visitors must wear proper PPE when entering the plant to perform work, troubleshooting equipment, or participating in a plant tour. Shirts must be long sleeves, and any loose or bulky clothing must be tucked in before working around machinery with moving parts that might become entangled. In addition to our standard PPE, hearing protection must be worn at all times in high noise areas. 
Areas that require hearing protection are posted throughout the facility. Hearing protection is also required when operating tools and equipment having high noise levels. Examples are jackhammers, power saws, air compressors, and hydro blasters. Smoking areas. Smoking is prohibited in the plant except in designated areas. Designated areas are clearly marked with signs. If not sure, ask your contractor contact. Emergency procedures and alarms. This section will cover plant emergencies and evacuation procedures. Before working in an area, identify and become familiar with the evacuation routes and exits. In the event of a drill or an emergency occurs, contractors and visitors should report to the appropriate primary safe zone for accountability. Safe zones. In the event the plant employee alarm system is activated, contractors are to proceed to their appropriate evacuation safe zone. Primary safe zone A is located at the maintenance building. Primary safe zone B is located at the corner of Cherry Street and South Everett Avenue. Evacuation wardens will be present at each primary safe zone to conduct a head count and provide further instructions. Each major area of the plant has its own distinct siren or tone, followed by a voice message indicating the area and type of emergency. If you did not hear the first message, move to another location. The message will be repeated. Chemical hazards. We have four primary classes of hazardous chemicals at Panama City. Flammables, corrosives, oxidizers, and toxics. Flammable materials have a flash point of maximum of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that there are enough vapors present without heating to ignite if there's a source of ignition. Hydrogen sulfide or H2S gas is another toxic chemical that may be present in low concentrations. This gas smells like rotten eggs. Alarms are located in the plant to detect and warn of the potential hazard. If the employee alarm system evacuation alarm is sounded, look for the wind indicators on top of the largest structures. For example, the tall oil plant, terpene plant towers, or the main gate guardhouse. If no wind indicators are visible, observe the West Rock stacks to determine the safest route to your respective safe zone. Try to keep yourself from being directly downwind of the smoke or plume. Nobody can re-enter unless specifically authorized by the incident commander. At Creton, we believe that safety is our best return on investment. We're glad to have you at our site today and hope that these messages about our safety and environmental policies and procedures are beneficial to you.